Hi everyone, it's Kuni Hiro. Thank you for coming back to my kitchen. In my previous video, I showed you how to cut yellow tail into parts. So today I'm showing you how to make sushi and rolls with those parts. So let's begin. The parts I'm using today are back loin, belly loin, top of back loin, belly, and scraped meat. I'm starting with the back loin. Please place it skin side down. I always start slicing from the tail end and move to the head end. When you slice fish for sushi, please do it with one motion. Like this. Start with the heel of the knife and finish with the tip of the knife. And each slice has front side and the back side. So this side facing you is front side and this side has to be top of sushi. And I'm slightly changing the angle of my knife at each slice because I have to slice the fish into same sides. So when you move toward the head, you have to change the angle of your knife in this way. And when you cut the widest part of the loin, you have to avoid cutting it too long and gradually change the angle this way. Okay, belly loin next. Same as back loin, place it skin side down and start slicing from the tail. Use your knife big, please cut it with one motion. And this belly loin gets fattier and fattier as you move it toward the head. I love this part of yellow tail, so I always save this loin only for sushi and sashimi. And keep all the slices nicely on the cutting board. I always make sure all the front side is facing the same direction. So I don't get confused when I make sushi. And when I cut the toru part like this one, I stand the blade up. It's almost vertical. Next one is top of back loin. I usually put this one bottom side up. and start slicing from the tail side. When you slice small part like this one, you have to tilt your knife a little bit more horizontally. Otherwise, all the slices are not gonna be wide enough. So when you slice a tall part, you have to stand the blade up. And when you slice a short part, you have to tilt the blade. Finally, this is a yellow tail belly fattiest part of yellow tail. Place it skin side down and slice from the tail side. This part is as small as top of back loin, so you have to tilt the blade in the same way. And this belly part is a little bit firmer compared to the other parts. So I give each slice several small cuts to soften the flesh, like this. If I don't do this, fish won't bend and my sushi will be ugly. Don't cut all the way down, just the shallow cuts. Okay, let's make sushi next. Please wet your hands. And make a small rice bowl while rolling it in your hand. Grab a slice of fish and dry it out with a clean towel. Otherwise, rice won't stick to the fish. Take wasabi and put it on the center of the fish. Put the rice bowl. Make an air hole. Close the air hole. 
press it down a little bit and flip at this time two fingers on my right hand I just put on the sushi I'm not pressing down at all and four fingers on my left hand are pressing the side of right hand's middle finger this way you never squeeze your sushi too much and rotate press the side rotate press the side one more time that's it this time I'm making faster make a rice bowl dry out the fish and take wasabi air hole close air hole press it down flip press 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 and press okay one more time wasabi air hole close air hole press it down flip press 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 and press so these are from back loin and these are from belly loin yellowtail belly and top of back loin okay that's it a plate of yellowtail sushi is ready next i'm showing you how to make rolls today i'm making skinny rolls we call it hosomaki in japanese so you need a bamboo mat and usually it has two sides this is a smooth side and bumpy side you have to put it smooth side up and you need a seaweed seaweed has two sides also uh, this is rough side and smooth side put it rough side up on the bamboo mat please wet your hands and make a rice bowl and spread the rice on the seaweed at this time please don't press it down too much because you don't want to crush the rice please make sure to leave this much space on the top and put the yellow tail right on the center of the rice please don't put too much fish if you put too much fish your roll won't close okay this is good enough and before rolling this uh, set the seaweed on this second line of the bamboo mat this line okay let's do it first pinch seaweed and bamboo mat together like this and roll it I'm using middle fingers to keep the fish from moving when I roll this far I let go my index fingers and roll it tightly and try to make a nice square shape here and lift the bamboo mat a little bit make sure left hand index finger is still on the top this finger is keeping the roll tight and the roll halfway more this much and make a nice square shape and the end of the seaweed comes to the bottom like this press the side a little bit that's it finish please watch one more time I'm not stopping this time
And now, wet your knife a little bit. Cut the roll into a half. Put them together. And cut into six pieces. And stand them up like this. This time I'm showing you from different angle. Spread the sushi rice on the seaweed. Leave a space on the top. Put the yellow tail on the center of the rice. Set the seaweed on the second line of the bamboo mat and pinch the edge and roll. Make it tight here and lift a little bit and roll another halfway and make a nice square shape. End of the seaweed comes to the bottom. Perfect. And press the side a little bit. That's it, finish. With your knife a little bit. Cut into half. Put them together. And cut them into six pieces. And stand them up. Ta-da! And finally decorate them nicely on a plate. Okay, finish! A plate of hosomaki! Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. And if you did, please give me this and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.